minute since we did a candle haul. If you know me, then you know candles and books are two of my favorite things. And since today is Book Lovers Day, August 9th, if you're watching in real time, I thought it'd be fun to show you my Book Lovers candle collection. So I have many, many. I you know, have been collecting them. It's a collection. So I, I have acquired this giant haul of candles over the course of about three years, but I thought I'd show you my favorites and hopefully inspire you to light up a book lover's candle while you are doing your reading. So let's jump in. So I have two different candle companies in this video. The first one is Flick the Wick. This is a newer discovery and I actually discovered this from one of you. So the first candle I have of theirs is called One More Chapter. It has the cutest coffee on it and of course it's pink so I love that. It is lychee and rubio's tea and it smells so good. I can't even describe the smell. I think they just did it. They did it perfectly. It does smell exactly like Rubio's Tea and that Light Cheat Test Candle that Bath and Body Works released. If you love that scent, you will love this one. Next we have their Beauty and the Beast inspired candle. It is called Be Our Guest and it has the Beast Castle on it or an iteration of it and it is Blueberry Cobbler and Red Wine. And that is exactly what it smells like. Can you guys just see Lumiere dancing around saying Be Our Guest, Be Our Guest? So good. And lastly, I got Laura Jean's Love Letters Candle. So as you may know, Netflix has adapted to All the Boys I Loved Before into a little mini series and it is coming out August 17th. So I thought it would be really cute and extremely seasonal to burn my Laura Jean Love Letters candle and watch the Netflix series. So it is Snickerdoodle Cookies from that scene where she's baking Snickerdoodle Cookies in the first book. Yeah, it just smells exactly like Snickerdoodle cookies. My mom makes them every Christmas and it smells just such like home. So that is everything from Flick the Wick. I will link all of their information below. The owner's name is Angeline and she's so sweet. I think that it's really a, just something that I've always wanted to do is support other business owners. I haven't done the greatest job in the recent past, but it's absolutely one of my goals. So I think it's it's so incredibly challenging to, to run a business, especially a little small one, and I want to send some love to some other small business owners. The second company whose candle I have is like the OG Book Lovers Candles. They've been around the longest. I discovered Frostbeard Studio from Katrina, you might know as a original book chatter. Her work schedule changed, so she hasn't been able to join us lately for our monthly book chats, but she gave me some Frostbeard candles for Christmas in 2015, and I fell in love, and I've amassed quite the collection. So let's jump into the Frostbeard Studio candles. The first Frostbeard Studio candle I have is Pemberley Gardens. So this was inspired by the Jane Austen movie, or movie, that was horrible, the Jane Austen book and movie, Pride and Prejudice. And of course I had to have it because, you know, Jane Austen. This just smells like fresh flowers. And it is rose, lavender, and hyacinth. Did I say that right? I probably should have Googled how to pronounce that, but. So good, and I love that it's pink. This was one of their spring candles. So another thing I love about Frostbeard is that they release their candles seasonally, and they also have a candle of the month. So if you don't see one of these currently on their site, it's just because it's probably a seasonal one and it'll be back in spring or in fall or as one of their candles of the month. Next we have Bookstore. This is my all-time favorite book lover's candle. If you get one candle in this video, this is the one I would vote for you to get because it smells exactly like the bookstore, which is the closest thing to heaven I think we have. So, oh my gosh, it smells exactly like flipping through new books. It reminds me of that scene in Gilmore Girls where Rory is caught smelling the books. Love it. It just makes me want to read every single book that's behind me. It smells like mahogany, leather, and coffee. That's you know, the official description, but it doesn't smell like that at all. It smells exactly like a book. I'm sure that's what's in here. Totally get that, but I don't smell the coffee at all, and typically I'm kind of sensitive to the coffee flavored, flavored, scented candles. This one I know they have year round. It's their bestseller. Next we have Sexy Librarian. This one is one of their spring candles. It is Rosewood, Lilac, and Musk. It smells like books and perfume. 
And you definitely smell the, the cedar like in the undertones. But it's not overpowering. I think you will like it. It kind of reminds me of a winter scent more than anything. And this is kind of a nice wintry color too. I feel like this is like a winter in candle. Next we have some of their candles that I purchased before the rebrand. So you notice this is one of their older bookstore candles. They just had white lids, the scents are exactly the same, the candles are exactly the same inside. They just rebranded a little. I have two bookstore candles because I'm so obsessed with this candle. I didn't burn it until I had an extra because it was my favorite. Do you guys ever do that? Maybe you do that with planner stickers. I know some of you have said that you don't use your You Better Work until the new ones come out. And that's why we have them all cart now, but I thought that was too cute because I do that too. Next we have Trashy Romance Novel. This one does not, okay, so their new, their, their older candles don't have kind of the scents in them, so we will have to wing it. This should be interesting. This one smells a lot like berries and citrus. That's my guess. I'm sure they have it on the website so you can see how accurate I am in this candle haul. Next we have Rainy Day Reads. This was their April candle of the month and it does smell like a rainy day in. It has a lot of ginger in it. So if you are not a huge ginger fan, this one might not be the candle for you, but I personally love ginger. And yeah, it does kind of smell like a rainy day. So I like to burn this candle in April. As soon as it starts raining, which is like an occurrence in LA, I'm so excited. I light this candle and I go on my balcony and read and watch it rain. I did that this year while we were reading Into the Water. It was the perfect rainy day read because it's all about, well, it's all about people drowning in a river, which it's a dark book, but it was perfect for a rainy day. Next we have new paperback. I cannot put my finger on what this <laughs> smells like. This is where I need the descriptions. I wouldn't say it smells exactly like a new paperback. I think of that more as the bookstore candle. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. We may have to rely on the website for this. I don't think I've ever not been able to guess what's in a candle before. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stumped. It smells really good. It smells really fresh. I like it. I like that it's white just like the pages of the paperback. We'll have to annotate this and add all of the all of the scents inside the candle. We're down to our final three candles. This one is Old Books. This is another one that's gonna be hard to explain what's in it, but it smells exactly like an old bookstore that maybe has like had a little water damage, <laughs> which sounds like the least enticing candle scent ever but I like it. It does just smell like an old library. It reminds me of my college library at USD. It looks like, it looks like Harry Potter. It's amazing. It has catwalks and everything. This candle just reminds me of studying in there. Next we have Le Cirque de Rev. So we read The Night Circus, August of 2016, and this candle smells like caramel corn, and caramel corn features in that book. This is one of their special edition candles that they just released once in a blue moon. It's kind of like they have one called, um, it's the Gone with the Wind candle. What is it called? Scarlet's Terra, that's what it's called. I've been trying to get that one for at least a year, but it's like, they put it up and it's gone. So that's similar to Cirque du Rev. This one just smells exactly like caramel corn at night. Kind of smells like the pumpkin badge. I know this is one of their fall candles if you want to snag it. Last but not least, we have the Gatsby's Mansion Candle. So this is one of the first ones I purchased from them, so it's kind of separated. And what I wanted this candle to smell like was Champagne Toast or Glitter and Champagne from Bath & Body Works. I thought that would be just the perfect scent, but this candle smells exactly like soap. And it's supposed to have the champagne tone in it, but this is not one of my favorites, but I had to have it because it's Gatsby, and I thought you might want a little review of it. Yeah, it smells like very, very strong soap. So that is it. I hope that was a fun candle haul. Of course, we'll be doing our fall candle haul probably just after Labor Day. And in more immediate news, we are having a semi-annual sale. So if you would like to shop the sale, make sure to tune in on Sunday, planning Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific. I'll be here walking through all the fun things that are on sale. 
So with that, I hope you enjoy these three videos this week. I did three last week and I am having so much fun hanging out with all of you again. If this was a fun video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps people find this amazing community and I am so grateful. Thank you for going ahead and doing that. So I will be back with you on Sunday. I'll see you again soon. I can't get it open. <laughs>